Welcome to bcsonlinelectures.com. This is the first lecture in software development subject. We are going to discuss about what you will learn from this module. Then we will discuss about objectives of learning software development subject. Then we will discuss the syllabus and finally we will discuss about some basic preparations you need to do before you start learning the uh, software development subject. Now let's see what you will learn from this software development module. First you will learn to code using python programming language. Uh, BCS recommend you to learn any C type programming language. That includes like uh, C++, C Sharp, Java and Python. Uh, why we choose Python is Python comparing to other programming language learning Python is easy. So you will learn to use Python programming language. Then you will learn about different type of techniques used to develop software. software. When we develop a software there are different type of techniques, there are different type of approach we can take. So you will learn about these uh, techniques. Then you will learn about different type of software, we call this software categorization. Then uh, you will learn about tools used in software development, what kind of tools that you can use to differ, develop different type of software. Then you will uh, learn about how to test a software system, when you develop a software before you implement or even after the implement and even after the installation of the software in a particular organization, you need to do testing to see whether this software is working properly. So you will learn about different techniques and how to use different uh, strategies to test software systems. Then you will learn about roles, uh, people involved in software development process. Now let's see what are the objectives of learning this uh, software development subject. First objective is uh, you need to learn uh, any C type programming language. In this case we will learn Python because uh, every IT professional need to learn at least one programming language because programming language is the basics of development of software systems. So you need to learn at least one programming language in this case we will learn Python. The next objective is you need to understand software development methods. What methods are available, what, what are the suitable methods to develop a particular software according to the given scenario, given situations. So you need to uh, have, you need to have an understanding what kind of method that you can use to develop a particular software. Then understand algorithm. You should be able to as an IT professional you should be able to read program, read codes and understand how this code work, what are the functions, methods, right? what are the inputs and outputs. You need to be able to read codings and understand the process. Then you should be able to uh, design uh, user interfaces, right? So you will learn about basic concept of user interface design. The next objective is understand software testing strategies and techniques. As an IT professional, you should be able to uh, know what kind of uh, testing strategies and techniques available and what are the suitable uh, techniques and strategies to use in different type of situations. So you need to have that understanding. Then be competent in apply practical solution to a real world problem. Software engineering, we develop software applications to provide solutions to business process. So you need to understand a given problem situation in our business organization and provide the practical solution to it. So that is one skill that you should develop learning software development subject. Okay, now let's discuss about the syllabus. In the official documents, um, a detailed syllabus is given. Uh, first section is about uh, fundamentals of programming, learning software development process, uh, concept of programming and file processing. Uh, user interface design, system and application software. Then uh, the finally the most important thing after learning everything we need to do lots of case studies and understand uh, how to provide solutions and how to read algorithms and how to design algorithms for different uh, type of 
uh, real world problems right now let's see what kind of basic preparations that you should do before you start learning the software development subject first thing you should do is download and print all available past papers and examiner reports from the official website not only this subject every subject this is the first ste step you should do you should, you should have download and print all the past papers and examiner reports very important i have given the links to download you can also go to the official website and download uh, these things then download and print the official syllabus that is also important because you should see the official document the official syllabus because in there it is given in detail so you can understand what kind of contents that you will learn next get your computer ready you need to have a computer and because uh, you need to do lots of practical lots of programming lot of practical using python programming language so you should have a computer so you get ready and uh, install python and text editor we will discuss how to install uh, python in a later uh, lecture next thing is most students think that uh, software development is a difficult subject but actually comparing to other two subjects software development is the easiest subject to get, uh, to pass the exam because uh, when you learn the basic concept of software development all other things are easy so only some only little thing you need to learn all other things you can just do it by practice so this is the most easiest subject to learn right don't worry that you can definitely pass the software development subjects by following our online program so next lecture will be uh, we'll jump uh, directly into unit 6 um, we will discuss about system and applications of software categorization so thank you and i will see you all in the next lecture at bcsonlinelectures.com thank you